Good morning, everyone. Now uh, let's look at the the Khan Academy. Let's see how to change the username, profile name. Sorry, a profile name and a nickname and email addresses. So in order to do that, we have to log into the existing Khan Academy account. So I'm going to log in now by clicking the log in. I ha I have created my Khan Academy account by using the Google. So I'm going to click the Google, but it doesn't matter in which uh, type of uh, login method that you use. It is Apple or Facebook or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. So I'm, I prefer to use the Google uh, sign-in because also our OESL email is a uh, is Google. So it's much easier for us and we don't need to worry about the password. So I just continue the Google. I'm going to use one of my existing account I have a version X I created already I clicked that one so okay I logged in already you can see my profile name is here and then in order to change the things go to the click the, the profile name of yours and go to the setting the settings are loading so you can notice something the nickname the nickname is here the other thing, other thing is the username, which is uh, they use it for the profile. So Anu Muhammad, and then see you see the complete profile HTTP canacademy.org profile to Anu Muhammad. So when you go down, when you scroll down, you can find the email is connected with it, versionx.lk at gmail.com, and then email, and you can find something called disconnect and connect another email. There are two important things since we are not used to Facebook and Apple, only the Google is tied with this account. So now what we are going to do, we are going to add an email, another email first, because in order to switch the email, you should have another one. So add the new email, and then after that, you can remove the old one. So I'm going to connect another email. So I click the and click another. Uh, connect another email and I'm going to use the same thing Google as well oh sorry uh, when you click this one connect another email let's confirm who you are so they want to make sure that this account is belongs to you I mean the old account which is belongs to you so they want to confirm that it's you so click the continue with Google and choose the version X because you already log in with the version X so I'm going to log in with the version X also to verify that's me so I'm going to click that and then they are verifying it. That's it. So they, they verified me. That's me. Now they give a, a pop-up to change to a different email address. So I'm going to enter the different email address. Is that ibuy.lk at gmail.com. Okay. I'm using this one because I already use my uh, OESL email. So I cannot use that anymore. So I'm going to use one of uh, one of the email that I have, easybuy.lk at gmail.com and then send confirmation email because if we do not send the confirmation email, of course, you cannot change the email address. And also they want to make sure that this email is existing before the edit. So I'm sending a confirmation email now by clicking this button. Okay, now they're saying that please check your email at easybuy.com. And then click the link to finish the connection. Okay, fine. So I sent the confirmation email already. So I'm going to close it now. And I'm going to go to the inbox of my new email address, which is easyby.lk. So I log into that. And I'm just refreshing the email. I did not get anything yet. Anyhow to make sure that I'm going to copy the email address exactly because I have no idea why I did not receive this. <clears throat> okay, let's repeat the same thing again. Connect to another email address and I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to paste it now. Send confirmation email. Please check the email at easybuy.klk and then click the finish. Okay, I sent it already. Ah, fine, I received it finally. Okay. Maybe some kind of delay or something. I have no idea. Okay, now I got two emails. The previous attempt and the current attempt. So better to get the, the last one, which is... Uh, okay, let's finish it up. Don't take the first one. The first one is already expired because 
and then get the last one so I'm going to click finish setting up I click that button it's loading it now and then it's asking uh, do you want to link this account to the Khan Academy I said link this email address that's it successfully linked easyby.com and gmail so you're going to use your OUSL email here instead of easyby.lk at gmail.com and then once it linked so now we have a duplicate screen here just close the old one or, or, or any of them just go down <coughs> scroll down and you can find two of them version x.lk at gmail.com and then easyby.lk at gmail.com right so how to disconnect the, the old one which is version x.lk let's say let's try a, a method we will try to disconnect. Are you sure you want to remove the version X at gmail.com from your account? I said yes. And then I said no. Please set your primary email address to a different address before removing the version X. Why? Because there are some emails that are sending to you like uh, promotions and uh, some many informations. So there is another place called here. When you scroll up, you have an option called email option. So go to this email option. <clears throat> See, enable email, general things that occasionally we will send you email and blah 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 for it, to this version X. So in order to change the email, you have to re replace this email with a new email address. That is that is your OUSL email address. So choose the easy by the okay, gmail.com. So I, I'm changing it already. There is no place to save. So fine. I'm going back to my account. So remember that you have to change this email to the new email address and go back to the account. <coughs> Come here and then uh, so I don't need the version x.gmail.com so I'm going to disconnect it. I'm removing this. That's it. Successfully removed version x.gmail.com from your Khan Academy. Fine. Now you don't need this Google login app already because uh, the version X you remove the version X from this account so better disconnect it I'm going to disconnect that okay your Google account is now disconnected so just scroll down again to make sure that okay so nothing is connected except the easyby.lk at gmail.com quite so what I'm going to do now to make sure that things are working perfectly I'm going to log out and then I'm going to log in with a new account that I created, the new email address, I mean the OESL email address, which is here, easybyder.k. Hmm. Oh, okay, so there is a verification saying that uh, to confirm. Okay, I'm going to send an SMS. It usually doesn't happen. That's why uh, Dr. Nalin is uh, saying that to use the, the password. But anyhow, I prefer this way. So I'm going to enter my verification code, which is, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, now they're asking you to create a password, even though you log in with the, the Google account, they're asking you to create a password. So I'm going to create a password. Claim this account because since you change the email, they have to make sure that uh, it's you. And also, I'm logging by the Google. So previously, I disconnect the Google. So when I log in again, it's matching your Google account with your profile account. That's why it's asking claim my account. So I'm going to go now to the profile again and go to the setting and go down, scroll down. And he found that the easybyte.lk gmail is connected by the Google at the same time, the same email address that you use. So you successfully change your email address. So now the additional things that you have to do, go back to the, I mean, scroll up to this profile and then just enter here in the, in the nickname, you enter your OESL student ID, which is, uh, for example, S123456789, for example. <clears throat> just imagine that's your number. And then scroll a bit down and then click Save Changes. Are you sure you want to change your nickname? Okay, done. Okay, so you see that the, you save, your changes have been saved. So it's confirmed that it's saved already. And additionally, go and change your, the profile name as well because I will tell you the reason why. So copy the profile name, the student ID name, sorry. 
and then go to the profile place and paste it here and then save changes let's confirm who are you so when you are doing a changes frequently in your profile they want to make sure that's you because uh, they might uh, notify that there are multiple attempts to change something so just make sure that you are log into the sorry the, the easy by i mean the OSL email login i sure you want to change your username yes there are no confirmation message anyhow so what we do now we will just refresh it again by going to the profile name and then click setting here and just come scroll down no it's not changed just change it again unless you see the the message on the bottom of the screen so i'm going to change it now i sure you want to change your username okay i don't get that either this time but it's showing that it's changed but it's not changed okay maybe maybe someone is using the same number let's let's change the number let's say uh your student ID is something uh, 223344566 for example huh? because maybe this number is used already so if then that's that's the case so I'm going to change it to a different number let's see what's going on username and you save changes successfully okay fine so the change is all saved because previously someone is using this number maybe for some demo purposes or something so now it's changed anyhow to make sure that it is uh, properly changed just go to the setting and click oh great it's changed all right so in also if you want to do uh, additional verifications copy this profile username here and go to the new tab and paste it here and enter cool you get your name ah, by the way uh, don't forget that these two numbers I mean the nickname and the username has to be the same but since I changed the, the nickname with a different number and, and that number is not available for profile so I use a different number but you make sure that you are entering your profile name and the, the nickname which is uh, your OESL student ID that's it so if you have any difficulties you can comment on my youtube channel and thanks so much for watching